Rub up your engines! Today I'm going to talk about rust and corrosion. I grew up in New York, worked in my father's corner Texaco, Lewiston, New York gas station. Rust and corrosion was a real problem. But then I moved to Texas and for 43 years I didn't have to worry too much about it. But now I'm back on the east coast here in Rhode Island. Because what's over there? Salt water. What do they do on the roads in the winter? They cover them with salt to keep the roads from freezing to make it safer. So if you don't protect your vehicle you're gonna get rust and corrosion. There's lots of ways to prevent it. Numero uno is you don't want the salt to stay on your vehicle. This bow shield spray. Now if anybody knows about rust and corrosion, it's people in Michigan where this stuff is made. And I like this Bow Shield T9 because, as they say, it was developed by the Boeing company to prevent rust and corrosion. And guess what? Boeing, jet planes. And think about it. Okay, jet plane can go over 500 miles an hour, and this stuff sticks on. You never go that fast in your car, so anything you spray on is not going to blow off. A lot more than just wind. It's pretty much waterproof what you put it on. It seals. He's been using it for years, and I'll show you how he used it on his car so you can prevent corrosion on yours, on parts that are important. Now realize the worst thing is bare metal, right? It's gonna rust. So, you can see a little bit of rust starting. On northern cars, these bolts will rust, the strut towers will rust. So, you get the can and spray all the bare metal parts. Then you just let it dry. Now, you don't want to get it on your car's exterior paint. You can see there's paint here. If you're a real fanatic, you could wipe it off of the painted part. It won't hurt anything. It just leaves a nice protective coating, but it won't be as shiny as your regular paint. So, most guys, they'll wipe off the excess stuff if it gets on paint. But once it dries, these babies are sealed. And of course, you want to do it before the rust has started. Now of course, don't be foolish. Years ago I had a customer, he was worried. Oh, his rotors, calipers look rusty. He used a similar type product, sprayed all over. Guess what? It'll ruin your brakes. They won't stop. It's dangerous. Don't mess with working parts like this. Just bare metal that's not protected. Guys around here in Rhode Island use it all the time on their boats because you think, oh, it's, they have the stainless steel fittings, right? Well, stainless steel is just steel with a little bit of nickel inside. The nickel gives the shiny part, right? But there's only so much nickel and that stuff will corrode too. So they will spray their boats with the stuff. Polish them off a little bit. Keeps the corrosion from coming back. Now they do it more than once a year because salt water on the ocean, I mean, you're being buffeted by that stuff. But they swear by the stuff on their boats. Anything that's sitting out on their deck that's made out of metal, they spray it and believe me, it doesn't corrode anymore as long as you keep it up. Eventually everything wears out. The sun's ultraviolet rays will get to it, but I mean like under the hood, the sun's ultraviolet rays very rarely get there. Maybe when you work on it in your car, but when you shut the hood, there's no sunlight getting inside there. So under here, like I say, if you want to do it once a year, that's plenty enough. And of course, under the car is where this stuff really shines. And you don't care what it looks like under the car anyway, if it gets a little smudgy. Who cares? You just jack up the car, and I gotta say, I love this U-jack that I got. It's got the notches on it, so there's the notches for the jack, right? What do you do? Since you have the notches here, you just jack it up so that these notches fit right there. So now, not only won't it slip, but it won't bend anything because the notches are on the grooves of the U. Now you can see here, Someone has been bad here. Scrape the bottom of the frame here. So, some of that protection is gone. Well, now it's coming back. And once this coating dries, what do you care if there's a few drips? I mean, you can be neat and wipe it off, but who even cares? You're not crawling under there. It's going to protect it from all of the anti-corrosion goop that was put on this car when built, the stuff that got scraped off. Now it's covered up, it's sealed, and it won't rust. Now even though this other shot hasn't been scraped on the bottom, what the heck, I'll spray that too. Just don't get carried away and start spraying all the exhaust. You get overspray, wipe that off. Because that gets hot. The stuff will not hold on to hot metal. It's not going to protect anything there. That's always going to rust. And of course, it's always great for battery hold down. Keeps the battery acid from eating them away. Just remember, the whole thing about rust and corrosion is you want to prevent it. You don't want it to start. If it has no corrosion protection, like a bare nut and bolt, you spray it on immediately, 
or every once in a while jack your car up crawl under and if someone's been bad in your family and the bottom of your frame has scraped against speed bumps or something and now it's got big scratch marks and the anti-corrosion coating is gone spray this stuff on and just let it dry you don't have to worry about doing a neat job under the car all you want is protection there you really don't care if you don't do such a neat job under the car and like i say you overspray it on the exhaust system just wipe it off a little bit won't hurt it but don't spray the exhaust thinking you'll keep it from rusting no it's not for hot metal parts <laughs> And one of my fans gave me what he uses. He got me a new one. Check it out. There it is. But what is it? Well, it's got wheels and a bunch of tubes. Connect the tubes. One, two, and three. Whee! What happens is you connect your pressure washer wand here. The pressure water then just goes down and it comes out the little nozzles. Now, I can't show it working here because I don't have my pressure washer. Then I'll have to wait till I get back to Tennessee. But the way it works is these nozzles roll under your car and rinse all the salt off. Simple yet brilliant design. With the pressure washer here, you can go all under the car and you can rinse it off with water or if you want you can add soap to your regular sprayer so soap will come out but water's perfectly fine for rinsing them off so you don't have to crawl under your car with a wand and spray and miss things the water will spray up get everywhere and rinse all the salt off and since it's so low it fits under cars and you don't have to jack them up hey it's cold in the winter you don't have to get a jack out jack it up crawl under no, isn't it better to just wheel and spray? No, of course, you need a pressure washer because that's what makes the pressure. If you hooked up just a garden hose, it wouldn't spray good enough. This is a pressure washer. You're basically rinsing the whole bottom of your car in a very short period of time. And of course, if you live in an area where you can drive on the saltwater beaches in the summer, you still want to rinse that salt off. Great tool cost very little simple design i can't wait to try it out when i get to tennessee especially on my grandson's off-road vehicle <laughs> he gets it carded with mud we'll see how good this thing is for taking off mud i'll try it out in tennessee but i know it's fantastic for salt because the guy who gave me this thing had a 20 year old tahoe that lived in connecticut its whole life and it was not rusted because he used one of those. So let me tell you, now that I'm gonna spend half the year on the East Coast, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, I'm gonna make sure my cars don't rust and corrode away like the guy with the 20 year old Tahoe. And truth be told, I wish I would have known this when I was 16. My first three cars rotted out from underneath me. I'm gonna make sure that none of my cars are gonna do the same thing. Because if you remember that video I made about my neighbor's Hummer in Tennessee it looked like a brand new Hummer but it had 380,000 miles he's pressure washing his when it snowed and they put salt on the road all his friends got him to come get him out of pinches pull people out of ditches but as soon as it warmed up a little he got his pressure washer out he did the whole vehicle under the hood look for scratches to cover any possible scratches hose the bottom hosed everything off and that's how even though it's old it still looked brand new. You can stop rust and corrosion if you do it from the get-go. Don't buy an old rusted car and think you can fix it or have an old rusted car and think, well, now I'm gonna stop it. You can't. Once rust starts, it will not stop. The whole thing about rust and corrosion is you wanna prevent it in the first place. And here's some bonus questions and answers. Rico 12 says, I got 2012 Altima S, 78,000 miles. Should I keep it or sell it? I bought it from a friend. His mother drove the car before she passed away. Little old lady drove it. I paid two grand and a book value of 65 to 75. Should I sell it, make five grand and go on and keep it? It's an Nissan. It's the S. I am assuming it's a standard transmission. If so, keep it. I got a customer with one guy, 175,000 miles on this. But if it's an automatic, sell it make some money i'm assuming being the s it's a standard transmission and if it is keep it because that's one of the few nissans of those days that was well made so i got customers one's got a ton of miles on it it's fast it's fun to drive but if it is an automatic one of those crappy jacko transmissions sell it make your profit and get a toyota or a honda now it might sound weird scotty saying yeah you want to keep a nissan but the s's with the standard transmissions were actually decent vehicles in those days so if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.